Hey, thanks for joining us. When we talk about building a better Bay Area, we mean it, the whole region. Uh, what has us concerned is widespread increases in crime. And tonight we're bringing you examples. In San Francisco, crime, staffing shortages, and police response times are all getting worse. What will it take for the city to change? Tonight we're getting a grim outlook from the president of the city's police officers association, no less. ABC 7 News I-Team reporter Stephanie Sierra has the story. Was parked right at the corner. Call it the price of parking in San Francisco. It's right over there. Tracy McRae was on her way to visit a family member in the ER. She parked her car at the corner of Franklin and Post, locked up and left nothing in sight. But a mere 30 minutes later, boom, her windows smashed. I knew instantly it was broke, just, you know, shattered. Underscoring that it can happen to any of us, McRae is a San Francisco police lieutenant who's fed up. Are you tired of it? Uh, girl, I've been tired of it. <laughs> the question is, what can we do about it? There is nothing you can do, and it's really kind of the luck of the draw. That's what it feels like. And many unlucky so far this year. In 2022, there's been a 32% increase in car break-ins where property was stolen inside and a 29% spike in larceny theft. The crime is increasing. Felicious Wyatt is the security service manager for SF Safe, a crime prevention and education program that works with SFPD. Facing a heightened demand for services, Wyatt says he's noticing these groups of criminals are targeting one neighborhood at a time. Burglars that are teamed up, when they are arrested, then you may be able to clear maybe 100 to to 120 burglaries because it was those two guys that were doing it. A dose of reality on a growing problem. McRae is the acting president of the San Francisco Police Officers Association. We asked her realistically, will this crime cycle ever end? It is going to stay the same. That's, that's being real. That's giving you the honest answer. Chief Scott was not available to comment specifically about these issues, but has expressed concern in the past about staffing shortages and slow response times. The department is challenged with more crime with fewer resources. We're down a significant am amount of officers, probably 500 or more. The luxury of having bike patrol, of having footbeats and business corridors, we don't have that luxury. The staffing shortage in turn impacting 911 response times. Data released from SFPD shows in February police did not meet the response time standard for priority A calls, which are life-threatening emergencies. On average, responding in nine minutes instead of eight minutes. But McRae says the time from when an officer gets a call to arriving on scene should be under three minutes. The delayed lag time having a domino effect. This February, response times for priority B calls, which usually mean a crime has just occurred, increased seven minutes. And priority C calls, where there is no present danger, increased 27 minutes from last year. A crisis that McRae believes the city will continue to struggle with for at least up to a decade. Next week, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors will be holding a committee hearing to discuss the current state of the department's staffing shortage amid this rise in crime. We'll be following it. For the I-Team, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.